Okay, uh, moving forward now with the uh, high low position. Uh, really like that position. Want to encourage you to create that as much as you can. So here's just another little move you can put into that series. Okay, we've got the high low. Okay, so we're right here, like this here. Now we're going to do what's called a dresser dump, and this should be incorporated into every. You know, if you're going to be a one of these guys that, that is a counterattack wrestler, or, you know, a front headlock wrestler, it definitely this is kind of an essential. I think all the ones we've shown, you know, there's a lot of moves in there, but the ones we're trying to show kind of uh, should, you know, they've got really high percentage, really low risk, and, and not all that difficult to do. And right, here's just another one. It looks flashy and stuff, but it's really, you know, if you break it down step by step, not too difficult to do. So here I am, and of course, you know, you're, you know, you don't freeze this guy. Of course, if we were in live action, I'd be, you know, pushing a lot of pulling, a lot of pulling here, trying to, you know, make him move. He's in a poor position, his back is bent, his legs are getting tired. So I want to go ahead and make him work there as much as I possibly can, because it's a 60-40, at least 70-30. So right here, now the dresser dump, you're going to go and move away from the leg you're going to attack, just like normal. So here, you're going to back step, do the compass move, change his angle, make him right there. Now, he takes that step, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all she wrote, you know, so again, it's all in the setup there. Don't cheat your setups, okay? Try to go ahead and really accent those setups. That's the big, big part. So move this guy's feet. Now you got to change his angle. Uh, just like you did on the mat before in the low level, the shoulder drops here. You listen to the back of his heart. Okay? Beep, 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 beep. Okay, listen to the back of his heart there. Now I've got him. My shoulder drops, so I've got a long lever. Now instead of going to a tap position, go ahead and just like I'm shooting a high C, it goes inside the knee here. My penetration step is going to be very small, and it's going to go just outside the plane of his knee here, like this. Then I just lower my elevation, continue like I'm shooting a high crotch shot, grapevine, your arm down his leg, keep the arm tight, let him hit his hip, here, boom, and upon landing, the best thing you can do, I think, here, would be to keep this hook and try to get him to flop that other leg to the other side. If you got the arm trapped, you'd like him to try to go that way. There's really nowhere for him to go. You just take the reverse half and put it back here, get a good lock, and go for the fall. Okay? So, other side. We're here. Okay, moving here, here. Pull this guy around. All right, moving around a little bit. Okay? Then I'm going to sidestep this way. Sidestep, change his angle, drop. Elevation drops here. Okay, maybe a small step, maybe I don't need to step at all. Right here, and then continue, right from there, settle in, and look for the fall. Okay, so there's another little tool you can use on that series, that's the dresser dump. I think if you incorporate that one with the other ones that we've uh, shown you here, you might be able to put together a little something that might be able to get you some, some good points. Thanks for watching.